Hello dolls, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Ebony Nikita, the Dominican Princess. And today I will be sharing with you dolls my tips on how to instantly look more polished, sophisticated, and feminine. These are my top tips that I discovered from seeing what works for me, but then also seeing what works for other people. You feel a lot more confident when you know, okay, I literally just rushed out of the house, but I know if I do these couple of things, no one could ever tell. No one could tell the difference. They would have thought that I spent an hour getting ready. All right, dolls, if you are new here, I post every week on femininity, elegance, fashion, and homemaking. I would love to see you back here again. So be sure to subscribe to me down below. And of course, I do have a blog post with more tips and some posh lady, posh doll inspiration. All right, dolls, without further ado, Let's begin. If you've watched any of my previous fashion videos, you guys know I fancy monochromatic looks. I highly recommend go for sets that match each other. It's just the easiest thing. Now, of course, this tip is very simple because it is pretty much the beginning of fashion, right? Whenever you would see men with suits, matching navy jacket, matching navy pants. It's a much more uniformed look. It's perfect if you're just trying to rush out of the house, right? You don't really have to think about it too much. Now, in my previous fall and winter capsule wardrobe video, I talked about this even with my casual running errands mom look that I shared with you dolls. It's not too much of a wow, loud color, but then again, it's not a boring basic neutral and to me baby pink that just works for me it suits my personality and of course you want your fashion to reflect you a matching set is great you can mix and match with other items and don't only think you have to stick with blacks okay or dark grays when it comes to purchasing these matching sets be able to have a variety because you'll notice that you'll get a lot less bored with your wardrobe but of course make sure that they are colors that you are comfortable with wearing so a good starting point for this would be look through your previous pictures and point oh wow blue looks really really good on me or I love the way that I look in red incorporate red in a different way go for a red tote there's your little pop of red or consider wearing red lipstick ever so often or having red nail polish typically when you wear lighter colors it gives you a much more brighter lighter fresher feels whenever someone's wearing all white or if they're wearing a cream color a softer peach color try out wearing dark brown on the bottom light tan a khaki because then white and black has such a stark contrast which can look very very classic but if you're looking for that overall fresh look going for a lighter neutral can really help having a weekly self-care routine i highly encourage every woman to do that just for the mental emotional confidence boost standpoint and just taking care of your body in different ways grooming that can really just make the process a lot easier i'm never leaving my home without lip balm a lip color whether it's a tinted lip balm or a lipstick lip liner eyebrow pencil sometimes i even have my little gucci compact powder with me okay i may not feel like putting on makeup now but when i get in the car adding just a little bit of blush filling in your eyebrows can make the biggest difference dolls accessories can play a huge part and when it comes to handbags i always recommend going for a structured bag a structured tote my everyday bag is a tote it's very simple very streamlined you can kind of just throw it with any outfit and it just works and having that much more structured look without any slouchiness can really sharpen up an outfit especially if you're like look i'm not getting rid of my athleisure wear fine <laughs> fine Go for a structured tote though, because a structured tote or a structured handbag, something that's a bit more squarish, boxy, something that doesn't have a lot of slouch to it, when it comes to your more casual, loose fitting clothing, it really just sharpens up the look. It's about finding that balance when it comes to your outfit. With that being said, same thing with jewelry. Hoops are a bit more casual in my opinion. If I wore hoops with this outfit, it would have taken my ensemble to be a lot more casual. Just me having two 
simple pearls here as my necklace and then a simple little diamond earring it's just very elegant and it really feeds into that less is more approach and on top of that when your jewelry is matching in tone when you're wearing gold on gold those are simple things that can instantly help you look a lot more polished why because it's much more uniform when you are wearing a much more casual outfit something else that I do is I always keep a pair of earrings in my handbag just a regular degular pair okay it doesn't have to be anything special but just having a simple pair of earrings and it really just does help you look a lot more feminine and brings out your features it brings attention right because something else is going there something else to look at which can bring out your natural beauty and sometimes when i don't wear earrings i'm like oh my gosh i look so plain sometimes what i do is i will take a pair of earrings and a random necklace and just stick it in my bra I stick it in my bra and then I leave my home and I'm like, okay, I'll put these on later. You know what I mean? I know it's kind of like, oh my gosh. But honestly, sometimes, you know, bras are there for a reason. They're for support. My bra is supporting me in multiple ways. My bra is not a one hit wonder. When you are wearing a much more casual outfit and you do want to achieve that polished, sophisticated look, it's a good idea to have your hair a bit more styled. If I am wearing a casual outfit, my skims dress, right? Within my previous vlog, which vlog was it? I forgot which vlog it was. I made sure my hair was a bit more curled. I wore pearl jewelry, which takes a much more casual look that is super simple and casual. It definitely does polish it up a bit more. And then on top of that, I wore a much more structured, streamlined coat on top of that casual dress still wear something that is casual and comfortable but doll it up a bit there's another time that i wore the skims dress but my hair was in looser curls and i was just wearing a regular tote you know i wasn't really wearing makeup and that definitely fed more into the more casual relaxed look so of course keep your hairstyles in mind having your hair done into a ponytail or into a bun or styling it with a headband i know you don't have to use a curling iron every day day or a flattening iron every day goes down below in the blog post I do have my favorite items my go-to products when it comes to keeping that polished sophisticated feminine look that is beauty fashion accessories just very simple things share with me down below what is your favorite tip that I've mentioned what is something that you've been doing or something that you're going to do to help you have that polished look that polished effortless look be sure to subscribe to me down below if you haven't already i do post every week on femininity elegance homemaking and of course fashion and of course subscribe to the vlog and i do want to thank you dolls so much for watching my videos and just being a part of this darling doll community all right thank you dolls once again for watching this video let me know what video you want to see next and i'll see you in my next one bye dolls